Hope you're all doing well, this is Fetus. I genuinely didn't think that this day would ever come where a manga would be able to pull, I guess, a stronger reaction or emotion from me than Oyasumi Punpun. To be truthful, Punpun never did make me cry. It just more so made me want to vomit and pulled certain emotions out of me that I didn't know was possible with just fiction. I almost feel bad calling Pun Pun fiction, to be fair. But with this one, it's just 21 chapters long. I cried for like the last 10 chapters of it, like without being able to stop. It was an insane experience. Today, the manga, or rather manhwa in question, is called The Horizon. Highly minimalistic in both its artwork and storytelling, yet extremely impactful. This 21 chapter masterpiece by by John G. Horn, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, about two orphan children trying to survive in a world destroyed by war has completely blown me away. It's been a couple of hours since I read through it in one sitting. A lot of people who have covered the horizon in their videos have said that it is best experienced in one sitting. I definitely vouch for that. If you're going to read the horizon, please do it in one sitting. And I'd say especially if you're an Oyasumi Pumpin fan, if you're a Sane and manga fan if you're just into dark stories in general, please go read this one. Go in prepared though, because like I said, it's 21 chapters. For 10 chapters straight, I could not stop crying. This video is totally unscripted, so I'm sorry if I'm kind of all over the place. I really wanted to let the story sink in for a couple of days before I made any sort of video about it. But for the past couple of hours, I cannot get it off my mind. For some reason, especially the artwork is ingrained in my head right now, and I just cannot get it out. The art Art style in the horizon isn't the same as like say Berserk or Vagabond or Pun Pun where you genuinely look at it and go wow that looks gorgeous, that looks so fucking good. The horizon captures the intensity of the world with just images of the characters expressions and some of the things that happen are genuinely disturbing and when the art style goes balls to the walls with those scenes I really felt my heart rate just <laughs> rising. I really feel like this manhwa didn't waste any time. There's there's very little dialogue, but every line of dialogue mattered. Every panel either sparked a new emotion or carried over the emotion born from something that happened earlier. I hate saying it like this, because literally everyone just says this and doesn't elaborate, but every character had so much depth. I was in total awe of how, in some instances, some characters were able to gain a completely new meaning with just one extra panel. The utter hopelessness of this war-destroyed world world and the way the characters feel about living in such a world creates a very nihilistic atmosphere, although the actual message of this manhwa isn't nihilistic, at least from my interpretation. And although the horizon contained a lot of predictable scenarios, the impact of those scenarios were not weakened by the fact that you could see them coming from a mile away, because regardless they were just so earth shattering. Plus there were also a lot of extremely well executed twists that at least I could not see coming, so there was a little bit of both. I don't think predictability is a bad thing, I don't think twists need to exist to make a story good or to create an impact. In some scenarios, an event might be so soul-crushing that once you start expecting that it'll happen, I feel at least that you're almost more devastated when it actually does happen, as opposed to there being some huge twist. I recognize that I'm starting to just use a shit ton of buzzwords, like impactful, I feel like I've said that too. 10 times today and soul crushing and earth shattering but that is what this manga is but I feel like I've said everything that I need to get off my chest about this manhwa at least for now there's always the possibility that something pops up and I make another video about it but for now I want to follow the example of the manhwa by not wasting any time and making every word count so this has been your boy I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos follow me on twitter at fukurofetus and I hope you have a great day